start with the yeah. So uh, for anybody who is interested in the Sabar the, uh, the drum family, check out YouTube or go to Gambia or uh, or Senegal because I I am not an expert, but it's been my hobby to learn a little bit about this this drum uh, um, tradition. Um, and, and the reason is that, uh, that I, I really love uh, the music uh, uh, that is going from, from one second to the other, from a very polyphonic, uh, multi-voiced, complex, virtuous uh, music to completely unison, everybody playing exactly the, the, the same, and then back to the polyphonic. That, that's, that, that kind of uh, musical message that you can't discuss uh, with anybody because it's just you just have to ac accept it. So it, uh, I'm still studying, <laughs> so I'm, I'm the biggest student. The, 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 the drum tradition is, is called Mbala. Uh, um, and this drum is, the, is actually called the Mbala. And, and it's not only the drum, it's also the, the, the style of the music and also the pattern that, that, that this one does. Um, so there is a lot of, of different uh, music for this drum, but the, what the Mbala drum does is the Mbala pattern. So this drum is like a... Um, yeah, how to say... It's, it has a hole in it. Uh, it has a, a goat skin that uh, looks like this. Okay. This, this is finely shaved and, uh, and uh, treated, so it's really dry and dead. It's a bit, it's a quite thick and it's very strong, much stronger than Norwegian goats. And I have tried. <laughs> and the way it's mounted on the, the drum is traditionally to, to have these cuts in the skin where they make a kind of uh, flatwerk uh, of ropes that goes, that, that uh, takes the power, divide the power uh, on the side and is uh, driven around wood pegs. And this can be taken out and, and the knots it can be tightened and, and the pegs go in. It's a little bit like bondage, this drum. <laughs> um, yeah. In the in modern drums, they don't necessarily have the pegs. They can have a, a rope system like a djembe. It's very fashionable now, but it's more expensive. Um, and, and this is the traditional way. It has uh, the high pitched sound. And it also has the bass. So, and it is sort of the it's keeping the the riot uh, of the group. The ding 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 ding. The foundation that everybody listens to is usually the job of this this drum. Um, it has some smaller relatives that uh, uh, also has the hole, uh, but it's much shorter and has much less sustain usually in the in the tone. Uh, and and usually there are at least two of these, so that you can when this one plays there's a melody and the other plays there and then play and the other one and the other one, so you get a kind of melody in the bass. And the stick is very often used to enhance parts of the mbala stick. Um, very often a bit more uh, simple, and, uh, or a little bit less active. So you get that kind of flame, flam, 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 that, that you suddenly, on some places there is several people playing, and then on next stroke there is only this playing, and you get those kind of beautiful waves of, of different at attacks. And, um, and uh, also speaking about waves, the, 
the bass note of this drum also interacts with the other drums like this and the other all the other drums and creates a melody. I'm not an expert, uh, but uh, but I can hear a melody sometimes. <laughs> this is basically the the, the kind of bass uh, bass drum. Uh, by the way, this is called tungune. Uh, probably have other names too, but only name I know is tungune. Um, this is the lamba or tjol uh, or gorung. I'm, there's actually two bass drums, and I'm not quite sure of the difference but sound wise it sounds to me like one is a little bit more bassy and one is a little bit more like baritone and they they are woven uh, pattern wise into each other so they create a melody together this one is it doesn't have a hole the, the these drums um, uh, and and it's usually tuned very low. The, the skin is mounted in the same way, but because of the lack of, of pressure that is on this high-pitched drum, it is usually a little bit simpler with, with, uh, with, with the cuts uh, of the skin going directly to the peg. And there is a reinforcement here, um, but the pressure is, is, the highest pressure is normally when they put the skin on, uh, I, I think. When, the, when it's played, it's usually detuned quite a bit. And you can probably hear that sustain is not as long as on the bala, but, but it has a very beautiful um, attack uh, in the bass. It's very easy to play a slap. So you get that big contrast in the drum. Plus, many of the rhythms they use the, the stick for playing the bass. And this, the, many times it happens on the same place as the bala is playing the hand uh, bass, which has a more sustain. So you get that sound together that is really very pow powerful. Um, so. That hurts. <laughs> um, yeah, there is uh, the other drum, the the tarmbat, that is uh, uh, that is. Uh, it's not always smaller, but it's usually tuned a little bit above, if I'm not wrong. Check your local uh, bala music source for that. But uh, yeah, so but. Uh, uh, I think one of the things that I really love about this uh, tradition of drumming is that it can't be done alone. You, you, you are totally dependent on, on the others. Um, and, and the combination that, that happens of the difference where this pattern comes with the stick there, you, you don't only get this melody that you get in any hand percussion style uh, that the bass tones of the drums produce a, produce a kind of bass melody but you have that layer on top uh, which sounds unison but has suddenly some stick stick that is not only dynamic and not only melodic but also in terms of attack how much distortion is on the attack that is uh, that is what makes look goosebumps <laughs> real goosebumps <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>